University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more teams have cheerfully decided to view the next 30 minutes as a challenge, as opposed to an ordeal, imposition or walking nightmare, I suppose. Whichever of them is ahead at the gong will come back and do it all over again in the second round. The University of Liverpool received its Royal Charter in 1903 and is widely regarded as the original red brick, the term referring to the material used for the Victoria Building, its original purpose-built headquarters. It now has around 23,000 students who in the past have included the Poet Laureate, Carol Ann Duffy, the former head of MI5, Stella Rimmington, the footballer Steve Koppel and the TV producer Phil Redmond. The four playing tonight have a rather crusty average age of 29. They're really, really old. And they'll no doubt be aware that Liverpool University got to the semi-finals of the last series. So let's find out if they got what it takes to go one step further. Let's meet them. Hi, my name's Nick Kurek. I'm from Shrewsbury in Shropshire and I'm studying microbiology. Hi, I'm Guy Nichols. I'm originally from Cambridgeshire and I'm studying Egyptology. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Gethin Hopkin. I'm from Somerset and I'm studying medicine. I'm Pauline Rowe. I'm originally from Widnes and I'm studying for a PhD in creative writing. Now, also with a student population of around 23,000, the University of Warwick reached the second round of the last series, but were series champions back in 2007. It's one of the institutions founded last century after the Robbins Report and which often get called plate glass universities. Former students include the actors and writers Ruth Jones and Stephen Merchant, the former children's laureate Anne Fine, the presenter Simon Mayo and the comedian Frank Skinner. Alert viewers will already have recognised their captain as a countdown champion in 2013. It's on Channel 4, apparently. With an average age of a mere 20, let's meet the Warwick team. Hi, I'm Sophie Hobbs from Birmingham, and I'm studying French and history. Now then, I'm Sophie Rudd from Immingham, and I'm studying for a master's degree in computer science. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Giles Hutchings. I'm from Farnham in Surrey, and I'm studying maths. Hello, I'm Thomas Van. I'm from Geneva in Switzerland, and I'm studying history. Well, the rules never change. It's ten points for starter questions. You have to answer those on the buzzer by yourselves. Bonuses are worth 15. They're team efforts. And there's a five-point penalty if you interrupt a starter question incorrectly. So, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Great Missenden in Buckinghamshire is the location of a museum dedicated to the life and work of which writer? Warwick Van. Uh, Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl is correct, yes. <laughs> you get first blood and the bonuses are on museums and galleries, Warwick. Firstly, for five points, which gallery occupies part of the site of the former Millbank prison, which at one time served as a holding facility for all British prisoners sentenced to transportation? Yeah, Australian Museum? Or something. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Something to do with Australia, I guess. Do you have any ideas? Um, Is that no. the Court Old Institute of Art? Austra Australia. A Court Old Institute of Art? Uh, no, it's Tate Britain. <laughs> in which county is the Bowes Museum, including a renowned collection of European artwork? It's housed in a 19th century building designed in the manner of a French chateau. Bowes. B O S E? Buckinghamshire? No, it's in County Durham, it's Barnard Castle. And finally, designed by Inigo Jones, the Queen's House in Greenwich is one of three buildings that together house which museum established by an Act of Parliament in 1934? Royal Observatory? No, it's the National Maritime Museum. Ten points for this. Catherine Astley, Blanche Parry and Elizabeth Throckmorton were among the personal attendants of which monarch? The latter attendant was briefly imprisoned in the Tower of London after her clandestine marriage to Sir Walter Raleigh. Liverpool Mickles. Elizabeth I. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the goals of life according to Hinduism. Firstly, for five, often translated as righteousness. Which goal indicates the religious and moral path that should be followed according to one's status and station in life? This term is also used in Buddhism and Jainism, but with different interpretations. 
Nominate Curic. Cast. No, it's Dharma. Secondly, the second aim is Arthur, or the pursuit of wealth. This is closely linked to a blend of statecraft and which social science known in Sanskrit as Arthur Shastra? Sociology? No, it's economics. And finally, what is the ultimate aim, also known as Nirvana, a term more usually associated with Buddhism? It signifies enlightenment or the liberation of the soul from the cycle of death and rebirth. Nominate Kirik. Moksha. Moksha is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. In logic, what two-word term denotes the process of applying the logical function to all possible combinations of inputs and outputs? A result is obtained by filling each cell of a matrix with... Warwick Run. Truth table? Correct. <laughs> you take the lead, you get a set of bonuses. On the films of Marilyn Monroe, in each case, name the film from the description. Firstly, for five points, a 1955 comedy in which Marilyn's dress is seen to billow up as she walks above a subway vent. Its title indicates declining interest in a monogamous relationship. The Seven Year Itch? Correct. Secondly, a 1953 film noir in which Marilyn's character Rose schemes to murder her husband. The single word title refers to a scenic honeymoon destination. Oh, gosh. I think I've heard of this, but I have no idea. Scenic. Lake? <laughs> no, it's Niagara. And finally, a 1959 film with Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon as musicians fleeing a gangster as Josephine and Daphne. They join an all-girl band in which Marilyn plays the ukulele. Some like it hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in 1937 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which feminist author's works include The Secret Garden in 1973? Her writing explores the nature of identity, women's fantasies, and the relationships between women of different generations. Warwick Hobbs. Susan B. Anthony. No anyone like to buzz from Liverpool? Liverpool Row. Gloria Steinem. No, it's Nancy Friday. Ten points for this. The common name of which bird derives ultimately from the ancient name of the river Rion in present-day Georgia? A game bird larger than a quail or partridge they can often be seen feeding in flocks in grain fields where there's cover nearby. Warwick Hutchings. Pheasant. Correct. <laughs> this set of bonuses are on mass extinctions of the Paleozoic era. Firstly, for five points, which mass extinction was marked by both the Kelvassa and Hangenberg events? The period in question is sometimes called the Age of Fishes. Any one of those Devonian? Oh, yeah. Devonian. Devonian had is that an think? extinction? I think there was, yeah. yeah. The Devonian extinction? Devonian is correct. Yes. Which mass extinction event took place around 450 million years ago with two peak okay. dying times separated by hundreds of thousands of years? Around 85% of sea life was wiped out by an ice age. Can bring an explosion of there was all a types KT. Of and I mentioned two things. I don't know what KT sounds like. That, that sounds called. right. Okay. Uh, Unless KT? It's no, it's the Ordovician. And finally, the Ordovician extinction was the second largest mass extinction of marine life. What was the largest beginning in and named after the last period of the Paleozoic era? I think it's Cretaceous. Yeah. Cretaceous? It's the Permian. Oh. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, I'm going to show you a current national flag from which we have removed everything but its five pointed stars, or, or in heraldic terms, what are known as its mullets. For ten points, I want you to tell me which country's flag this is. Warwick Rudd. Oh, the Philippines. Correct. <laughs> there it is. Yes, well done. I almost hesitated too long there. So you get a set of picture bonuses now. I want you to identify three more current national flags from just the configuration of stars thereon. Firstly, for five. Is, that oh, is it Burkina Faso? Faso? Yes, it is. I think it's Ghana. Oh, no, it is Ghana. Is it? Yeah, no, it's Ghana. Ghana. No, Ghana has a black star. It's Senegal. It's Let's see the whole Ghana. thing. Oh, wait. Oh, Secondly, which nation is this? Oh, so that's Fiji? Is it Fiji? I'm not, I don't recognise it. Fiji Do has the stars, I think. Yeah. And it's got the, it's got the ensign in the yeah. corner. Fiji. No, that's Tuvalu. We'll oh. see the whole thing now. Oh, no. Sorry, I knew... And I finally... Oh, is this is Panama. the Dominican Republic. Oh, no, it's Panama. Yeah. Is it Panama? Yes, Panama. Panama. It is Panama. Oh. 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 
Right, ten points for this. In 2015, mathematicians at the University of Washington discovered the 15th convex form of which polygon able to tile the plane, meaning identical copies of it, can cover a flat surface with no overlaps or gaps? Warwick Hutchings. Hexagon. Anyone like to buzz from Liverpool? Liverpool Curac. Decagon. No, it's a pentagon. Ten points for this. Speaking at the 2015 Hay Festival, which British writer declared that poverty is as much a moral failing today as under the Tudors? His works include an account in various forms of the 15-year occupation of his driveway by the elderly Mary... Liverpool Rowe. Alan Bennett. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the calendar. Firstly, the High Court of Justice in England and Wales divides the year into four terms from the feast day of a saint. What name is given to the term that in 2016 begins on the 3rd of October? Michaelmas. Michaelmas is correct. Secondly, a 4th century Bishop of Poitiers who was a proponent of orthodoxy against Arianism, which saint gives his name to the term that begins in mid January? Stephen. No, it's Hillary. And finally, the name of which Christian doctrine is given to the term that runs from June to July? Trinity. Correct. <laughs> Ten points at stake for this start question. The background to this speculative novel is a plebiscite in which Northern England votes to join an independent Scotland. Give the dictionary spelling of the word plebiscite. Warwick Rudd. P-L-E-B-I-S-C-I-T-E. -E. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Warwick, are on the Russian choreographer Michel Fokin. Which short solo ballet did Fokin create in 1905 for Anna Pavlova? She took it as her signature piece and is said to have danced it around 4,000 times. I mean, no there's, there's Giselle, but that's not a Russian thing. Tarantella. Is that like a dance? That's a great dance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Giselle. That's the dying swan. And swan. Uh... Secondly, premiered in 1911 and set to music by Weber, which short ballet depicts the romantic dream of a young woman after she's returned from a ball? Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it Cinderella? Something? Is it something that might be? Yeah. yeah. Did you say that? Cinderella. No, it's the spirit of the rose. And finally, first performed in 1909 and set to music by Rimsky Korsakov, which ballet by Fokin takes its name from the heroine of the 1001 Nights? Scheherazade. Yeah. Scheherazade. Correct. We're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear part of a well known pop song. Ten points if you can give me the title of the song. Darkness falls across the Liverpool Mickles. Thriller. Indeed, it was by Michael Jackson. You heard a bit of Vincent Price's spoken interlude in Thriller. For your music bonuses, I want you to identify three more well-known songs from their spoken word parts. In each case, for the five points, I need the title of the song. Firstly, for five... You know, someone said uh, the world's a stage and each must play a part. They had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. We can listen to the music, can't we? Are you lonesome tonight? It is Are You Lonesome Tonight? That was Elvis Presley, of course. Secondly... So now I'm alone. Now I can think for myself. <laughs> oh, well, no, no, it's not. It's things that I just can't understand. I put my light at night. I was like, touch it, touch it. I don't think... Cars by Gary Newman. No, it's Our Friends Electric. And finally... You broke my heart. Dance. You didn't even want me around. And now I'm back to let you know I can really shake them down. We don't know. That's the contours, do you love me? Ten points for this. Marlon James's man booker winning novel, A Brief History of Seven Killings, recounts the failed assassination attempted. Warwick Hutchings. Jimi Hendrix. 
No, you lose five points. The, the failed assassination attempt in 1976 on the life of which singer and songwriter during an armed gang's invasion of his home in Kingston? Liverpool Nichols. Bob Marley. Correct. <laughs> so you get the bonuses, Liverpool. If you get them all, you take the lead. They're on physics. A Carno cycle is the most efficient heat engine cycle consisting of two isothermal processes and two of what other form? Endothermal. No, it's adiabatic. Which inequality is named after a German physicist born in 1822 and applies to real engine cycles, implying a negative change in entropy to the cycle? We don't know. It's a Clausius inequality. And finally, which law states that not all the supplied heat in a heat engine can be used to do work? Is it the second law of thermodynamics? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Derived in part from the Latin for hinge, what two-word collective term has been given since antiquity to justice, prudence, temperance and fortitude? Liverpool Hopkin. Virtue. Anyone like to buzz from Warwick? Warwick Rudd. The four virtues? No, they're the cardinal virtues. So, ten points at stake for this starter question. The archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli developed the use of plaster to make casts recreating the forms of humans, plants and animals during his term as director of the excavations of what site? From eight... Warwick Van. Uh, Pompeii. Pompeii is correct, yes. You get a set of bonuses this time, Warwick, on literary magazines. From 1953 until his death in 2003, the American writer George Plimpton was the co-founder and editor of which magazine noted for its series of long-form author interviews? Is that the New Yorker? Or New Yorker? The New Yorker? No, it's the Paris Review. Which London-based review of literature and art was founded and edited by Cyril Connolly, with contributors including George Orwell and W.H. Auden? London Review of Books? No, that was Horizon. And finally, author of the memoir, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, who is the founder of McSweeney's Quarterly Concern and the monthly magazine The Believer? Could this be Lewis Carroll? Or C.S. No, Lewis. Lewis. Lewis, the mm. Narnia guy. C.S. Lewis? <laughs> That's much later than that's Dave Eggers. Ten points for this. Fish in the Dark in 2015 was the Broadway debut as both author and actor of which US comedian, a co-creator of Seinfeld, he played a fictionalised version of himself in the series... Warwick Rudd. Larry David? Yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the year 1915, Warwick. In January 1915, which country sent claims known as the 21 Demands to China in an attempt to increase its control over that country's economy and internal affairs? Is it Japan? Uh, it's around, I think. Japan? Correct. In April 1915, the Allies signed the Secret Treaty of London with which member of the Triple Alliance, inducing it to declare war on Austria-Hungary the following month? Italy. Correct. In July 1915, the United States sent troops to occupy which Caribbean island country in order to protect US assets? The occupation lasted until 1934. Cuba or Granada, I think. It lasted until then. Okay, um, Cuba? Do you think it's Cuba? Yeah. Cuba? No, it was Haiti. Ten points for this. Which letter of the alphabet links the naturally occurring unit of electric charge, the mathematical constant sometimes known as Euler's number, and the chemical. Warwick Rudd. E. He is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on rice, Warwick. Comprising hot rice with seafood, meat and vegetables, the Dutch dish known as rice tafel has its origins in which present-day country, formerly a Dutch colony? Possibly oh. Indonesia. Indonesia would make sense, yeah. Oh, yeah. Indonesia? Correct. Which Cajun dish combines rice with a variety of ingredients and is sometimes said to derive its name from the French for ham? Yeah. Jambalaya? Correct. Typically used in risotto, which short grain rice is named after a village in Italy's Piedmont region? I don't know. I, I thought it was risotto rice. I, I just thought it was short grain rice. Do you have any idea? No. no, sorry, I don't know. It's Arborio. We're going to take a second picture round now. 
For your picture starter, you'll see a detail of a well-known painting. Ten points, please, if you can identify the artist. Warwick Hutchings. Uh, Sarah. Surah, we'll see the whole thing. It is indeed a bit of Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grand Jatte. So we're going to take picture bonuses. Warwick, three more details showing dogs in well-known paintings. In each case, five points if you can give me the title by which the whole work is usually known. Firstly... Oh, this is Love and Cavalier, I think. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a face, though. Love I know. Maybe not. And there's a portrait of someone. Is it the, um, the Gainsborough one of the, the husband and wife? No, no. no idea. No, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> it was the games for one of the husband and wife, but it was Mr and Mrs Andrews. I needed oh. them for the title. Secondly... Oh, is that Olympia? Yeah. Is it? It's a bad one, isn't it? Or is it one of the Venus? Really sure. Olympia's on a bed, I think. Yeah. Olympia? No, it's Titian's Venus of Urbino. We'll see the whole thing. There it is. And finally... Is that the is that Arnold Fini? Fini that does have a dog. Yeah. Oh, and it's got the green dress. Yeah. Yeah. And the Arnolfini wedding? Correct, yes. We'll see the whole thing there. Yeah. Well done. Ten points for this. Who became the first US president to leave the country while in office when he travelled to view progress in the construction of the Panama Canal in 1906? Warwick Rudd. Theodore Roosevelt? Yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Warwick, are on painkillers and analgesics. The, firstly, the principal alkaloid of opium, which analgesic can be administered orally, intramuscularly, subcutaneously and intravenously? Yeah. Morphine? Correct. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen can relieve pain through the inhibition of which enzyme? Dopamine... Uh, it's only one of those, isn't it? The other mm -hmm. one... Melatonin. Serotonin. Serotonin. Could be serotonin. Yeah. Serotonin? No, it's the Cox enzyme. And finally, which common analgesic can be used to ease moderate pain and reduce fever? It's also known as acetaminophen. Oh, this is paracetamol, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. I think I've heard that name come up in terms of paracetamol. Paracetamol? It is paracetamol, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Flowing from the Himalayas to the Bay of Bengal, which river is known as Jamuna in Bangladesh and Sangpo in Tibet? Its Sanskrit name means son of the god of creation. Ah. Warwick Van. Ganges. No, anyone want to buzz from Liverpool? You may not confer. One of you can buzz. Liverpool Hopkins. Brahmaputra. It is the Brahmaputra, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on philosophy this time, Liverpool. The Theatetus is a work of around 369 BC by which philosopher? Plato. Correct. In the dialogue, Socrates states that he is a member of what profession, that of his mother, because he helps others to bring forth conceptions about knowledge? Midwife. Correct. In this dialogue, which epic poet does Socrates call the great master of tragedy? Of uh, tragedy, no. Um, who wrote Antigone? Uh, Euripides? No, it's Homer. Right, ten points for this. In modern Japanese, characters signifying song, dance and skill are written together to form the name of which genre of stylized theatre? Ah. Warwick Rudd. Kabuki? Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on astronomy, specifically constellations of the zodiac. Firstly, for five, about 55 million light years away, the nearest large cluster of galaxies lies primarily within which constellation of the zodiac, which gives the cluster its usual name? Oh, golly. I think it might be Taurus. I'm not sure. That sounds like Taurid. Taurus? Galaxy. No, it's Virgo. Secondly, oh, the Virgo. centre of our galaxy is within which constellation of the zodiac? The Milky Way? No. no the uh, the centre. Um, oh, the name of it, sorry. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is right. Which constellation holds the Crab Nebula and the star Aldebaran? I think, Taurus. I think that is Taurus. Yeah. Taurus. Taurus is right. There are about three and a half minutes to go and ten points to this. What event in British history is often used to describe the stage works of writers such as George Etheridge, George Farquhar and William ah. Congreve? Warwick Rudd. The Restoration? Correct. These bonuses, Warwick, are on administrative districts in England that are named after natural features. Name the ceremonial county, for example, West Sussex, 
in which each of the following is located. Firstly, Sedgemoor District Council is in which county? Sedgemoor, no. no. Yorkshire? No, it's in Somerset. Second, in which county is Wire Forest? Oh. No, no, no. It'll be somewhere in the south. Somewhere in the south. Uh, Suffolk? No, it's in Worcestershire. Finally, in which county is the district of Breckland? I know the county's not district. Hereford. No, it's Norfolk. Ten points for this. At about 74 million square kilometres, the surface area of the Indian Ocean is close to that of which planet of the solar system? Liverpool Curic. Jupiter. No, Warwick. Warwick Rudd. Mercury. Mercury is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on six-letter words whose only vowel is the letter O. In each case, give the word from the description. Firstly, an artistic style whose exponents include Fragonard, Boucher and Tiepolo. A Rococo. Correct. Secondly, Pan Paniscus, a rainforest ape known as the pygmy chimpanzee. I think Bonobo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bonobo. Correct. And finally, a variety of half-fermented Chinese tea whose name means Oolong. black dragon. Oolong. Oolong is right. Ten points for this. Meaning west in Arabic, what term denotes the region that comprises the Atlas Mountains and the coastal plain of the countries from Libya to Morocco? Uh, Warwick Hobbs. Maghreb. The Maghreb is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Warwick, are on countries that do not share a land border but are connected by a bridge or tunnel, for example, France and the UK. Firstly, completed in 2000, the Urasund Bridge connects which two countries? Uh, Sweden, yeah. Sweden and Denmark. Correct. 24 kilometres in length, the King Fahd Causeway links which two countries? Probably Bahrain or something. Yeah, oh, Saudi. King, oh, it might be, yeah. Bahrain and Qatar or Kuwait or, or Saudi, Saudi Arabia? Arabia? Saudi Arabia is more um, likely. Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Correct. Finally, two bridges across the Johor Strait link which two countries? It could be Singapore, Sing Malaysia. Singapore and Malaysia mm -hmm. would be the obvious junction. Uh, Singapore, Singapore and Malaysia. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Publius Civilius Casca Longus, Gaius Cassius Longinus and Lucius Tilius Simba are among those who took part in what act on the 15th of March, 44 BC? Liverpool Row. The assassination of Julius Caesar. Correct. 15 points for these bonuses. <laughs> They're on imperial and metric units, Liverpool. What imperial unit corresponds to 746 watts or 33,000 foot-pounds of work per minute? <laughs> There's one horsepower, but... Um, I'm afraid to say, Liverpool, you're going to be saying goodbye to us, but thank you very much for taking part. Warwick, congratulations. 235 is a very impressive score, and we shall look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match, but until then, it's goodbye from Liverpool University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>